What's that going to be? Oops. Do you have any idea how long I've been working on this painting? Two hours? One and a half weeks. And couldn't you just paint over it? <laughs> no? <sighs> okay. Sorry. Why did you sneak up on me like that? Couldn't you see that I've totally lost myself and my surroundings? That I was fully absorbed in my painting? You what? <sighs> you... You... You philistine! You've made me ruin my painting. The journalist from Art Lesson is coming today. I wanted to present it along with the others. Mm. That's why you hung up all the paintings. <laughs> yes. Mm, well, I hope they like your abstract art. Do I hear a tone of derision? Mm. When does the journalist plan to show up? Oh, God. How late is it? Quarter past 12. Oh, no. I told her on the phone that we're meeting outside, 12 on the dot, at the front entrance. Oh, please, 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 let us still be there. Oh, hold that, please. Oh, God. Excuse me? Good afternoon. I'm Alyssa Scheffel, the journalist from Art Lesson. We spoke on the phone, as I'm sure you remember. Huh? This is the right place, isn't it? Because actually, I thought we were supposed to meet outside, but maybe I simply misunderstood you, so. Oh, uh, please do excuse no me. No big I'm... deal, no big deal, but. You know, now I'm running out of time, so... So... what? Do you want to show me around? Oh... Uh, yeah. Uh, well, f follow me. Okay, um, this is a, yeah, a landscape. The forest, the trees, you know what I mean? And the brush stroke? The brush stroke, yeah. Well, one could presume that he had, I mean, that I had an accident while painting, but actually, um, the two mountains, yeah, next to each other. They represent... Um, the female breasts, yeah. But on the phone you told me that you concern yourself mainly with landscape painting. Yeah, of course, I mean, isn't that landscape painting? Nature, landscape, are so full of life. Yeah, and life doesn't just sprout out of the ground. No. Reproduction, procreation, sex. Do you understand? And the brush stroke cutting across the painting? What's your intention with that? Pew. The masculine. The male nature to dominate everything. In contrast to the harmony of the female. Isn't that gorgeous? Well... Your other paintings seem... less sexually oriented to me. And... this one here too, to be completely honest. Mm. Yeah, subliminal messages. You know, I mean... I don't expect my viewers to pick up everything that he... I mean, that I intend my paintings to mean, so... Easy thoughts. Look, I'm sorry about getting here so late. Perhaps we could just phone again about your... Tonight? Excuse me? 
Um, dinner? Tonight? You're inviting me to dinner? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, I put together some photocopies of my work so that we can take our time going through them. Yeah, so that we have more time on my work. Seven o'clock at Hafenküche? Do you like sushi? Oh, of course I do. I love sushi. Great. Then I'll see you tonight, Jonathan. I can call you Jonathan, can I? Oh, you can call me Jonathan. She was already gone. No, Jonathan, no, she was here. Oh, God. What did you say? Uh, you did tell her I was at the front door, didn't you? Yes. No. Sort of. Ah, Jonathan, I'm sorry. I've really made a mess of things here. What do you mean? Oh, well, she came in and she thought it was you. <laughs> Come again. Yeah, she came in and... I was totally blown away. I mean, that woman, she's like so hot. Oh my God, drop that gorgeous. Uh-huh. Yeah, and she thought it was you. <laughs> but you told her you weren't me, right? Yeah. No, but I wanted to. And I showed her the painting. What? Of all the pictures, that one. Yeah, and I told you all sorts of bull about it. Ah, Jonathan, I'm really sorry about that. But there's a good side to the whole thing here. I've got a date with her tonight. You... You have what? You freaking idiot. Do you have any idea how huge of an opportunity this was for me? My paintings might have made it to the magazines. Can you imagine what publicity means for a no-name artist like me? Can you? Can you? No. No, not in the least. You're the biggest dork. You're the most ignorant, egoistical idiot that I've ever met in my entire life. Maybe... Maybe there's some hope left. I told her I would bring some copies of my work, mm -hmm. of your work, to the restaurant for us to discuss because she didn't have the time to look at all the paintings here today. Yeah. You're totally hopeless. You don't even know how to spell the word art. Uh, that's why I'm going to dinner with you tonight. Although I feel very uncomfortable apologizing for the embarrassing mess you've put me in. Oh, you can't do that to me. Oh no, huh. you're in the midst of destroying my career as an artist. Uh, even before it's begun. Okay, you're right. I'm a complete idiot. Today really can't get any worse than it is now. Yeah. And to put things right, I'm going to dinner with her tonight and clarify the misunderstandings. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? First you destroy my painting, then you ruin my big break. And finally you want to go out with a hot reporter. <laughs> Sounds to me more like you want to reward yourself than to set things right. Jonathan, you are my best friend, okay? And yeah, you're right. Sometimes I can be a complete idiot. Sometimes it's a real understatement. Okay, I'm really sorry about everything that happened today. I never ever thought I could screw things up so badly in less than 20 minutes. And yet, Jonathan, yet, this is my first date in almost two years. And I can't explain it. I mean, suddenly that wonderful, beautiful woman appeared and boom! <clears throat> Sorry, my whole entire world turned upside down. Not just yours. And despite talking total nonsense about your art, and nonsense is really putting it lightly, I mean, I made a real fool of myself in your paintings, and yet that woman, uh, how is she called again? Scheffel. Scheffel, right, yeah. Melissa Scheffel. Melissa Scheffel. And despite how stupid I must have sounded, that woman 
Melissa. Seems to find me sweet somehow. Otherwise, otherwise she would have turned down my invitation. Jonathan, please. Don't ruin that for me. Hi. <laughs> it's pretty busy here today, isn't it? Oh, that's for sure, yeah. It's been a long time since anyone asked me out to dinner. But this is strictly business, of course. Ah, of course. <clears throat> Those waiters. The moment they set a table for two, they decorate it with a red rose. <laughs> Hopeless romantics, I guess. You already know what to drink? Um, I would like to have a glass of red wine, please. Oh. Which one? Um, which one would you recommend? Aunt Lady? Um, I'd like a glass of sparkling water, please. Of a course. Something wrong? Hmm? No. <laughs> Nothing. Really. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to freshen up. You can look at the menu till I get back and tell me what you're ordering. Mm -hmm. I can never decide. Oh yeah, and you could get your copies out too. What the hell are you doing here? What do you think? You forgot the photocopies. Have you forgotten why you're here in the first place? Of course I haven't. Here, take them, but don't screw everything up. I'll come over to your table and we'll clarify this whole <laughs> ridiculous situation. <laughs> you won't do that. I will. Really. I don't know why I didn't sit down with you two. What do you think Melissa Sheffer is going to think once she finds out you're pretending to be someone you are not? It is going to happen sooner or later. And probably sooner. Okay. I'm going to explain everything to her. All right? I hope so, for your sake. Haven't you forgotten something? <sighs> and he brings a red rose to a business date. <sighs> How pathetic. You already know what you want? Uh, what's the menu of the day? Oh, menu of the day, uh, like the sushi with salmon. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. We'll take it. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm vegetarian. Um, I'll just have the sushi made with omelette and vegetables. Excuse me? You want the egg from chicken? Yeah. An Asian custom, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me, please. <laughs> yeah? How do you do? I'm Jonathan Becker. Glad to meet you, Melissa Shuffle. Felix uh, represented me this morning because I had an urgent appointment that I had to keep. I hope you've heard my message on your mailbox. No. No, I didn't. Oh, 
I'm so sorry about that. Felix told me that there was a little misunderstanding when you arrived and that you didn't have enough time to look at my work. He told me you were meeting tonight to go over everything again and that I should come along. Luckily, I had the time tonight. Yeah. Although, I really must apologize for being so late. Okay, so you are Jonathan Becker. <laughs> yes. Oh, did I forget to mention that? Yeah, you did. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about that. Well, excuse me too. I really didn't listen to your message. <laughs> Simple misunderstanding. I hope it hasn't cost you any inconvenience. No, no, of course not. Please. Join us. Yeah. Please join us. forward to hearing from you. Your paintings are fantastic, all of them. It's going to be a great article. You can count on that. Bye-bye. It was nice meeting you. Well, bye then. Bye. Are you going this way? Yes, my car is parked over there. Oh. Um, again, I'm sorry about the mix-up. I simply assumed that he'd already filled you in, so... No big deal. Misunderstandings happen now and then. It wasn't your fault. It was an interesting evening, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You know, I have two tickets for the Taylor Swift concert next Friday, and my best friend can make it. Do you like Taylor Swift? I love Taylor Swift. Okay, um, to tell the truth, she's okay. Her music is kinda, well, so-so. <laughs> Too bad. I was going to ask her if you wanted to come. There's nothing I would like to do more. Great. Uh, wait, um, how do I get in touch with you? Right. Here, give me a call. I'll do that. Don't forget. Oh, baby.